Let there be no divisions in the church. Rather be of one mind, united in thought and purpose. Iron sharpens iron, but also it produces sparks. So when those sparks happen and we have disputes and disagreement, what is your counsel on how we should resolve these issues as people of God? I was actually thinking of it the same way like you just presented it. You know, first of all, we know that we should not be suing Christians. However, Christians don't always act like Christians, and that's a whole nother story. But when it comes to these sparks flying, the first place that we should look is at ourselves. You know, mm. Jesus said, if you want to remove the, the, the telephone pole out of your brother's eye, or remove rather the splinter out of your brother's eye, first check the telephone pole in your own eye. So often we think we're right and everybody else is wrong. I know there's been many times when I've had to go to the Lord to talk to the Lord about my wife. And I'm like, Lord, your daughter, she's got issues. And every time I talk to God about her, he talks to me about me. Hallelujah. So we need to stop looking at everybody else and look at ourselves. First Corinthians 1 verse 10, I believe, is a really critical scripture for every Christian. And it says, I appeal to you, brothers and sisters, by the authority of our Lord Jesus Christ, to live in harmony with each other. Let there be no divisions in the church. Rather, be of one mind, united in thought and purpose. And so we need to check ourselves. We need to humble mm. ourselves. And we need to endeavor to keep the unity of the spirit in the bond of peace. Amen. You know, one of our principles at our Leadership Institute is to focus on the issue, the problem, the behavior, and never attack the person and maintain their self-worth by being honest, confronting with care. Hey, everyone. Hope you enjoyed the video. To see more like this, be sure to hit the subscribe button below. Get all the latest content from TCT Ministries. We'd love to pray alongside you for God's blessings in your life, so you can email your prayer request to prayer at tct.tv or click the link below and submit your request at tct.tv. God bless you and thank you for watching.